In this video, we're gonna look at inserting a Foley catheter in a female. Of course, make sure you verified your order and explain it to the patient. You typically wanna perform peri care before you start as well. So you wanna assist the patient into the appropriate position. For females, that's supine with their knees bent, feet close to their hips, and allowing their knees to fall to the side. Now, sometimes you might need a helper to hold the patient in this position. So then you're going to open the Foley kit and remove the package from the plastic bag. These plastic bags are awesome because once you get the kit out, you can actually fold the top of the plastic bag over and turn it into a little trash bag and just place it right next to the patient's hips near you. You don't want it to be too far away because you don't want to break sterile field to throw things away. So open the sterile kit on the bedside table, opening the kit away from you, and then pick up the kit from the bottom and place it between the patient's legs, reminding them not to move their legs or touch the kit. Once you have it open, you can carefully grasp the sterile gloves from inside the kit and apply them. Again, without turning your back on the sterile kit. It's still to, right to your side and in front of you. So again, if you do need uh, more details on how to put on sterile gloves, there is a whole lesson on that, so go check that out if you need to. The sterile gloves inside these kits are a little tricky, so if you want to grab a fancy pack separately, you can do that as well. Once you have your gloves on, you want to grab the drape. This is the full drape, and you want to carefully place it under the patient's perineum, shiny side down. So the tricky part is your hands shouldn't touch the patient or the sheets. So I wrap my hands up in the drape and tuck it in that way so my hands are only ever touching the drape. Then grab the fenestrated drape or the drape with the hole in it, place it over the patient's perineum gently without touching the patient's skin. So now what you want to do is slide the kit towards the patient's feet and carefully remove the plastic tray and then you can put that plastic tray on the sterile field a little closer to the patient's perineum and I usually kind of hook it on the side um, of the cardboard to keep it steady. So now you've got this nice wide sterile field you can work with. So now you can prepare the rest of the items in your kit. Now you need to lubricate the catheter so we're going to show you um, our favorite trick which is to take the catheter carefully out of its package now just be really careful here because it could whip around so keep it keep it under control take that catheter and actually insert it straight into your lubrication package so not only does that start to lubricate it but it also holds it in place for you if you have a syringe of lubricant just pull the plunger out and stick it in that way then set it down on the tray and wait so now you're going to take your saline syringe and attach it to the balloon port, but do not inflate it. We used to check the balloon, but evidence shows we don't do that anymore. So now you can apply iodine to cotton swabs or open your swabs package, depending on what your kit has. So take your swabs, and I usually let the patient know, like, you're going to feel me touching you now, or you're going to feel something cold. Use your non-dominant hand to spread the labia and hold them open. Once you do this, that hand is no longer sterile, okay? Now, you wanna cleanse the meatus, always moving from front to back. You're gonna go on the right, and then the left, and then down the center. If you have an extra swab and you need to, go down the center again, and you're looking for the wink of the urethral opening as you're cleansing. Remember, don't put these back on your sterile field. That's what your little trash bag was for. So keeping the labia open with your non-dominant hand, you're gonna carefully pick up the catheter out of the lubricant with your dominant hand, Warn the patient they're gonna feel some pressure and gently insert into the urethral opening until you see a flash of urine in the tube. Once you see that, advance about an inch or so further and then inflate the balloon. If you do meet any resistance um, when you are inflating the balloon, deflate it, advance the catheter more, and reinflate it. It should be easy to inflate and it should be painless. So once the balloon is fully inflated, remove the syringe quickly, or if it will, it'll deflate on its own, and then gently pull the catheter out until you get that slight resistance. That just tells you you're sitting right at the base of the bladder. Now you can secure the catheter to the patient's upper thigh, usually with maybe a stat lock or a piece of tape, and put the bag down on the rail of the bed below the bladder, but still off the floor. Now you can remove the drape and all of your supplies from between the patient's legs, cover them back up, and discard your supplies appropriately. Again, make sure that you're hanging the bag on the bed below the bladder but off the floor. Make note of the color, clarity of the urine, as well as how much came out. 
and document the insertion. So that's it for inserting a Foley in a female. If you want to see how to insert a Foley in a male, we have a video for that as well. All right, we love you guys. Go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.